Welcome back everyone, today I am going to recover mercury metal from soluble mercury waste. For this a beaker containing mercury 2 plus and mercury 1 plus ions is needed. In my case a bunch of hydrochloric acid has been added to dissolve insoluble mercury salts. There's also chromate and maybe also copper in there, but that doesn't matter. To recover elemental mercury we just had to add a copper pipe. The copper reacts with soluble mercury ions to form soluble copper ions and liquid mercury. You can see that a reaction is taking place by taking a look at the pipe. It's changed its color to silver. The reason for that is that it got coated in mercury. Here's a time lapse of the first hours, but because the reaction is quite slow, I am going to let this stand for a few weeks to get out most of the mercury. If you look closely, you can see a droplet of liquid metal on the surface of the pipe. Once enough mercury was formed, these droplets will flow to the bottom of the beaker where they will collect. What looks like a shadow actually is not a shadow and it could be really fine droplets of mercury. After some time restlessness overcame me and I added a magnetic stirrer to speed things up. Many droplets of mercury have already collected at the bottom after just one day. Two days later I removed the foil from the top and we also removed the copper pipe. The copper pipe was then placed into a plastic bag for future use because it is already heavily contaminated with mercury and it can still be used for making more mercury from waste. The solution was allowed to stand for one more day to let everything settle and afterwards the solution was put off into my heavy metal waste canister. In the end we were left with a few blobs of mercury, really dirty mercury and mercury powder if we can call it like that. To clean it a little more, some potassium permanganate solution was added. After sitting for about one day and rinsing one time with dilute hydrochloric acid it looked like this. Looks like mercury powder if this exists. After sucking it up into a syringe and transferring it to a test tube it looked like this. Before getting ready to distill it I put on a gas mask with a completely new HG rated filter to protect me. We also did this in a very well ventilated area and a tray filled with some water was placed below the setup. You are now going to see why this was a bad idea. The test tube cracked, spilled mercury which was fortunately collected in the tray and a lot of mercury vapors were released. Without the appropriate safety measurements this would have been a huge disaster but fortunately no mercury was spilled anywhere and I wore the gas mask so I avoided inhaling any vapors. After collecting it we transferred it to a syringe containing a small amount of cotton and simply pressing it through. This is a crude method to purify mercury but before I build a steel retort I am not going to distill any more mercury in a glass apparatus. And there you go, about 0.8 milliliters of mercury metal from mercury containing waste solution. This mercury also contains a small amount of copper and probably also trace metals but for most purposes this shouldn't matter. If you liked today's video make sure to drop me a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you don't want to miss out on other awesome chemistry content in the future.